work is said to be done when the applied force is able to produce a displacement. Well, you have applied a force on a body and you have done some work. <coughs> the job is over. Then the work done all of a sudden cannot disappear, rather it converts into the format of energy and stores in the body. According to work energy theorem, work done is equal to change in the kinetic energy of the body. Let us try to prove that uh, considering a body of mass m who is the initial moving with the initial velocity u. Let us suppose we have applied a force f. Therefore, after tra traveling certain distance s, yes, let the body, same body, has acquired a velocity v. We know basing on the equation of motion concept, v square minus u square could be written like 2a s. From this, we can write acceleration as v square minus u square by 2s. As the body is producing this much acceleration, corresponding force applied on the body can be calculated using the Newton's second law of motion m a. It is nothing but m of v square minus u square by 2s. When you have applied this much of the force on the body, body has got a displacement s. Therefore, I can write work done as force into displacement. As force and displacement are acting in the same direction, the angle between them equal to 0. Therefore, f dot s will become f s cos 0 that equal to f s itself. Substituting the value of the force, we can write work done as force we have just now derived as v square minus u square by 2s and displacement is nothing but s. So, we can cancel the values of s and s and we can write a equation work done as m v square minus u square by 2. We can rearrange this equation as half m v square minus half m u square. Therefore, we have proved that work done is equal to half m v square is kinetic energy final because v is its final velocity. Half m u square is kinetic energy initial and hence we have proved that work done is nothing but equal to change in the kinetic energy. This concept is valid both in inertial and non-inertial frames. Anyway, if you want to apply the same to in a non-inertial frame, we shall consider a pseudo force and solve the problem.